Hey guys, today I'm going to be giving you a comparison on the loaded slide gloves and the loaded the, the loaded racing slide gloves and the loaded free ride slide gloves. And in my previous video I said I was going to do a video, so to those people who watch that, I'm doing the video now. So, well, there aren't there are a lot of differences, but I'm just going to point out the main ones. So, the racing gloves all the way to the left are obviously made of leather well if you guys didn't know it's made of leather and it is uh... eighty five percent goat leather i think that's what it said I think that little label right there Hold on, let me see uh... yeah eighty five percent leather leather ninety nine percent polyester and six percent carbon fiber and you may be you guys may be wondering like whoa carbon fiber where is that at S Well. Is at the knuckles for protection. So that is the main thing about these gloves, okay? That they're made of leather and the protection it has for the knuckles. So it's right here, here, and some right there. For these gloves, they give you awesome protection. And uh, they really do last you a long time. I had these for like a year already. These are the version 1s. They made a version 2, but I, I think I like these better. Except the version 2 looks a lot more breathable. I don't. I never tried them, but they do look a lot more breathable. But uh, and the thing is about the racing gloves is that it says on the label you can wash them. I just said I haven't washed them because I'm scared uh, about the leather. I don't want it to ruin the leather or anything. So I haven't really tried it. But I did already wash the uh, the free rides because they are made of fabric. So. Uh, Let's see, and then the free ride gloves, right? Uh, in my previous video, I said there was a really big strap here. And in this one, it has a really little strap. So when you use the, the pucks and it really kind of closes your four fingers together, you can't really grab that and pull and try to, you know, get it on the other side of the Velcro. It's pretty hard. You can, like, since I'm right-handed, I always put my right hand first, or my left hand. I put my left hand first. And then I wrap it right perfectly. Then once I, it takes me a while to put on the uh, the right glove because I kind of have to wiggle it. And then I just kind of do my best, but I don't really get it perfectly. But to I don't I don't do my best to I I can't do my best to wrap this around. So basically, it kind of ends up going like halfway across, and it makes my hand slip out, which is bad because if you're sliding, you don't want to lose your glove tear up your hand okay and for this well another main thing is that there's foam inside look at my previous video about what I said about that there's foam inside this one that'll help for suspension this one doesn't have it I don't know why and for the ventilation it only uh, that black part right there basically it only happens to this part of your hand which is bad because since your hand gets really sweaty in the leather it smells really, really nasty, okay? So after about a month of usage, you'll start smelling your sweat in your room if you keep it in your room. So that's basically one of the things that are bad. So I kind of actually have to keep them like in a shoebox in my closet. But I do let them dry out a little bit because I do sweat a lot. And this is one of those guys who sweat a lot. But these, you don't really sweat that much in because of the ventilation in, through the, throughout the fingers. No, I think maybe there's some in the thumb. No, I don't think there's any in the thumb, but it's already a lot, so uh, a lot of ventilation, so your hands don't sweat that much, and you can wash them. But remember, guys, do not put them in the dryer. They will shrink and probably damage the Velcro. So always hang dry them. These, it says they're washable. Wash it. I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you to, but if you do wash it, uh, just make sure you hang dry them. But I do not recommend washing them because they are leather. I don't. I don't think that uh, leather will do good in water. So, yeah, that's basically the main differences. And, uh, hold on, let me think if there's anything else. Um, well, these new pucks here, I in my previous video I showed them to you guys that are brand new. Right here. They are black, and the ones that are here are obviously gray. I guess I haven't tried these yet. I've been using these a lot. But, uh... I, I guess there may be either upgraded somehow or they're just the free ride pucks. I don't know. I think I think they're just a new type of puck. But uh, I'll try them out today or tomorrow because I just started school. 
so I can't really go outside a longboard that much. But, uh, yeah, so I think that's basically it about the, the slide gloves. So, but I think, let me just give you a quick conclusion and overall, because I started learning about how to write an essay, so I'll just give you a conclusion. Um, the racing gloves are good for protection. That's it, protection. If that's what you want, protection, get the racing gloves. And if you want look, style, comfortability, breathability, and stuff, go with the free rides. They don't really protect you that much when you're grabbing under your board, but hey, at least they look cool, right? That's what matters. Okay. Um, so talk about prices. The racing gloves I got, since they were version 1s, I, I think they were like $70. Well, plus tax, probably like 82 but the version 2s are like 86 so plus tax would be like 90, 95 or $93 or something. I personally think that's a ripoff. I'd rather like use that money towards a new uh, longboard deck, a, lo a loaded longboard deck. Okay, that's what I would personally do. The free rides, uh, I, f I forgot the version, the, the like version five or the version before version six uh, price, but they were probably like around fifty to sixty dollars. But these are fifty six. I got I got them all from Carve Skate Shop, and they use pre they have pretty good prices. They're really like true to like the actual price, so uh, these yeah they were fifty six and plus tax are like sixty or sixty one I think like sixty dollars. So I I don't really have a recommendation. I like them both, but I can't like uh, when I go downhill I use my slide gloves just in case if my knuckles accidentally touch the ground. But if I'm just cruising and stuff in my neighborhood, I use my free rides. So I do not have a recommendation. It is all up to you. But the racing gloves are uh, better for protection. And the free ride gloves are just, I guess, really good. So I guess the free ride gloves are like really good for breathability again. Uh, sliding is good. Uh, the wrap, the strap is really cool. And that's basically it. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll hope to be putting up more videos soon. Uh, but since it is school, I do have a lot of homework, and I'm just starting high school. So, if you guys have any tips, just comment below. Alright, thanks guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys subscribe. Alright, peace.